Thanks. Welcome back to the culinary conclusion of tonight's six o'clock show, where Quan Jay Chan feels like chicken tonight. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Quan Jay. So, Praise chicken. How do we get started on this? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do like a, um, a chicken curry, so with potatoes in it. And oh, so right. Yeah. So what I did was uh, I have some Thai chicken. I kept them quite big as well, Martin, and like they're big, massive pieces. All I did oh, was yeah. uh, take the center piece out because I want the I want the nice big pieces inside the stew. So you okay. can actually take it out, you know, so. So it's like a curry stew. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to wait for this to heat up, but well, it should heat up anyway, so. I have two pieces because uh, I have kind of done, I didn't want to do too much. Okay. So I'm going to fry that off because I want them, the skin to brown. Yeah, and so skin side down. Skin side down, top. want to uh, caramelize it. And, and it's starting to cook now. Exactly, so on the other side, this is uh, in here. I want to throw in some garlic. Okay. And this is where I'm gonna just um, get the flavor in to the onions, garlic, and... Now you see, this is where we, we, we want to watch attentively as you cut onion, because, oh, like, it takes me an age. You've only done half an onion, and you've done it in seconds. <laughs> but that's quite chunky. Yeah, that's quite chunky, yeah, so, um, yeah. Pe uh, peeling onions is just like peel the skin off and just put it on, like you know. So yeah, I quite, quite like it. Quite I, 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 I like it uh, quite um, chunky in this one because they break up, you know. Yeah. So okay. just more oil in, in there. So I have some sesame oil in there as well. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get the flavour in there, and I'm also going to use some potatoes. At this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these potatoes in. So. Well, you see, I'd already be on my way to A and E if I was to cut potatoes. Oh, time. really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is how so used to it, you know. And what I what I like, Martin, is I like to keep it like quite big as well because yeah. um, by the time you cook it down, you know what I mean? Like it kind of gets to the middle. I want still want yeah. potatoes in there, so I want the outside of the potatoes kind of like thicken up the sauce, and but I want kind of chunky potatoes in there as well. So so I'm gonna give it another one or two. Okay. So use a board at home if you can, okay? So I have some, this is a quite different kind of curry. So I have some uh, korma powder, so oh, right. curry powder. So, so you said earlier powder. this is going to be like a fusion. Exactly, yeah. So it's a bit of a fusion curry because uh, normally curries don't use kind of tomatoes in it. So right. what I have here is a, a red Thai curry paste as well. Okay. Just going to put that in there. And also some um, tomato, okay. chopped tomatoes. Oh, I, okay, so you, is this like a mortal sin, probably making something to happen? <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Okay. So, put all that together, and whenever your chicken's gonna, your skin is kind of thickened up, put that in there, okay? Because it's, it, it's gonna continue cooking. Exactly. It's gonna continue cooking, but what I wanted to do is like, I wanted to give that kind of sear on the side, you know, it was nice and lovely. Yeah. So we're gonna cover that up, and we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna throw like a stock cube in there as well. So the jelly one. Okay. And, and does that have to be any particular stock cube? No, I'm, you can use any stock cube. Or you okay. can use chicken stock if you want, but I find stock cube quite easy for this. Okay. All so right. you want to like kind of just give it a bit of just water in there. All right. And give it a good stir. You don't have to let it boil if you don't want to, but you can. Yeah. So put a lid on it mm -hmm. and then just... You see, when I see potatoes, I, I immediately think massama. Yes. Okay. But... So. Um, Actually, in, in China you, and Hong Kong, like in a lot of stews, you use a lot of potatoes as well. So you just put that in there, and this is what you're kind of come out with. All right. Oh, the smell from that is just amazing. Yeah, so, like, you can see the oil, and what, what we do then is, um, at the end, I throw in some coconut as well. So, kind of coconut milk in here. Mm -hmm. Just give it a go. And then that's it. We just serve it with rice and also the potatoes there as well on that. Okay. So I'm just gonna give it a little. So I serve it with boiled rice and also like um, there's loads of potatoes in there, so it's like double starch, isn't it? Oh, listen, it's Friday night. It's, I know, yeah. It's, it's a takeaway. But see, see the way the chicken kind of breaks up a bit there as well. Oh, right. right. So that would have been on for how long? Just remind us again. So what I put it in there for 160, and you can do this in your slow cooker as well. So for a bit, maybe I had it in for a bit, maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. So, and see the way the potatoes are kind of yeah. still together as well. So, that's okay. it. Okay, well, while, while you're uh, continuing with plating up, 
Lots of you have been in touch. Sarah Wexford said, I absolutely love Darren Garry. She's the ultimate girl next door. I've been listening to her for years. She needs to try stand up and she promised me front row tickets if she does it and a Toblerone. Uh, Mary and Tip said, if I don't get a Toblerone, we were talking about this because Darren left a bag of Toblerones in Dublin Airport when she was coming back from Spain. There were a lot of disappointed people in her, uh, in her group about that. If I don't get a Toblerone every time, my significant other has been abroad. He travels a bit for work. There is hell to pay for. I feel Donica and Carl's pain. You know, they have to do without theirs. This looks amazing. Thank you. Okay, so it's a fusion of yeah. So it's Indian fusion between like an Indian curry and also like a, a Thai curry, but like it's very mild. But it's it's great for this time of uh, this time of year because it's so cold out there. You know, just mind it's very hot. hot. Too. Yeah, it's very really hot, hot there. So yeah, well, absolutely gorgeous. Looks like Quanjay, you and I. It's just Coming me and you, isn't it? Tonight. Yeah. Although I can imagine a run from, from the gallery coming fairly soon. <laughs> anyway, thank it's you. amazing. And thank you for it. Thank you. Uh, that's all we've got time for tonight, folks. Excuse me. A big thank you to all of our guests for joining <laughs> us. And, of course, to Kwan Jae Chan for his Thai curry. Thank you. Yes. Don't forget the big deal returns to our screens on Sunday night. It's the second of the semi-finals, and they're certainly heating up. Tune in. 7 o'clock, Virgin Media 1 on Sunday night to see that. I'll be back on Monday with the ultimate messers, the two Johnnies. I think I'll go to a church and light a few candles. Two Johnnies are on the way. Until then, enjoy your weekend. Take care, bye-bye.